This is the Music History Today podcast for July 21st. On today's show, it's stormy weather for Lena Horne and Diana Ross. The Wall gets performed in front of the wall, and the beginning of the end of Millie Vanilli happened. First up, though, on this date in 1943, the movie Stormy Weather, with Lena Horne performing the song Stormy Weather and Fats Waller performing Ain't Misbehavin' premiered in movie theaters. In 1963, a riot almost broke out when 4,000 fans who didn't get tickets to a Beatles concert in Blackpool, England, still tried to get into the concert. In 1978, the film Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, starring the Bee Gees and Peter Frampton, premiered in movie theaters and promptly bombed. In 1983, Diana Ross gave a concert in Central Park. After she started the concert, a major thunderstorm came in. The concert then had to be canceled and rescheduled for the next day. In 1988, James Brown was given a two-year suspended sentence and ordered to pay $1,200 U.S. for gun and drug possession and also for resisting arrest. In 1989, at a show during the Club MTV Tour in Bristol, Connecticut, the recording of Girl You Know It's True repeatedly skipped while Millie Vanilli were lip-syncing to it while on stage. That was the beginning of the end of their careers, as soon thereafter it was revealed that they never sang on their debut album, and I happened to be at that concert that day, and yeah, it was weird. Anyway, in 1990, Roger Waters performed the Pink Floyd concept album that he co-wrote, The Wall, in front of where the Berlin Wall once stood, as the wall had been taken down as communism ended right around that time. In 1997, Jewel became the first artist from Atlantic Records to get on the cover of Time magazine. In 2000, the Insane Clown Posse fan club convention, The Gathering of the Juggalos, happened in Novi, Michigan. Due to the craziness of the event, the convention was banned from Novi, Michigan. And two years later, in 2002, the same bad behavior happened in Peoria, Illinois. Yeah, they were banned from there as well. In 2015, the Drake-Meek Mill feud started when Meek Mill accused Drake of not writing his own lyrics after Drake did not promote Meek's album on Twitter. Go figure. And in 2017, Justin Bieber was banned from performing in China because of his past police record as a kid. In classical music in 1938, Paul Hindemith's ballet Nobilissima Visione premiered in London, England. In theater in 1976, the revival of the musical Guys and Dolls opened on Broadway, and in 1985, the musical Leader of the Pack closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on July 21st in 1999, Charlie Pride received his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Albums that were released on July 21st include in 1962 when Bobby V released a Bobby V recording session. In 1971, Black Sabbath released Master of Reality. In 1972, T-Rex released The Slider and Rod Stewart released Never a Dull Moment. In 1973, the soundtrack to the James Bond movie Live and Let Die with the famous song by Paul McCartney was released. In 1974, Rory Gallagher released the Irish Tour 74. In 1976, Kiss released the originals. In 1978, Talking Heads released more songs about buildings and food. In 1979, Triumph released Just a Game. In 1980, Chicago released Chicago 14. In 1981, Brian Adams released You Want It, You Got It. In 1983, Shonen Knife released Burning Farm. In 1984, Striper released The Yellow and Black Attack. In 1986, Neil Young released Landing on Water. In 1987, Guns N' Roses released Appetite for Destruction, one of the best-selling debut albums of all time, 
We discuss this, among many other things, on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which, by the time you're hearing this, has already been released on this network. Just check your local podcast wherever you get your podcasts. Please like and subscribe. It helps the algorithm. Blah, 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 yakety, schmackety. You know the drill by now. Anyway, that's enough of a plug. Moving on. In 1987, Dio released Dream Evil and Madonna released the soundtrack to Who's That Girl. In 1992, House of Pain released their self-titled album and Sonic Youth released Dirty. In 2003, Nick Lowe released Anthology. In 2008, Sister Sledge released Absolutely Live. And in 2009, Nick Lowe released the Brentford Trilogy box set. And Matthew Sweet and Susanna Hoffs released Under the Covers Volume 2. Singles that were released in the UK on July 21st include in 1978 when 10CC released Dreadlock Holiday. Meanwhile, in America, in 1951, Eddie Cochran released Summertime Blues. In 1961, the Supremes released Buttered Popcorn, which was their last song with Florence Ballard as lead singer. Diana Ross took over as lead singer after that. In 1965, Barry Maguire released Eve of Destruction. In 1966, The Circle released Turn Down Day. In 1986, Huey Lewis and the News released Stuck With You. In 1992, Nirvana released Lithium. And in 1994, The Pretenders released I'll Stand By You. Before we continue, we'd like to tell you about the Music History In-Depth podcast, where we go in-depth on the history of some of the events from the daily version of the Music History Today podcast. The Music History In-Depth podcast drops new episodes every Tuesday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. We also have the Music Halls of Fame podcast where we honor a year in music along with a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, along with who we think should be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Plus, we honor a different museum, Walk of Fame or Hall of Fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday in audio and video form wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to the Music History Today podcast. Artists who were born on July 21st include singer Romeo Santos, Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Yusef Islam, formerly known as Cat Stevens, producer Kim Fowley of The Runaways, Emerson Hart of Tonic, Singer Maggie Lindemann, American Idol runner-up Blake Lewis, Howie Epstein of Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, rapper King Roscoe, Eric Bazilian of the Hooters, Barry Whitman of Herman's Hermits, Mike Wilsh of the Four Pennies, Rosie Hamlin of Rosie and the Originals, Plass Johnson who plays saxophone on the Pink Panthers theme song by Henry Mancini, Jazz singer Helen Merrill, conductor and violinist Isaac Stern, jazz singer Kay Starr, guitarist Henry McCullough of Joe Cocker's backup band, Ben Matthews of Thunder, singer Paloma Faith, Leah of the K-pop group Itzy, singer Rebecca Ferguson, singer Holly Tandy, Jeff Fat of The Wiggles, country music singer Sarah Carter of The Carter Family, Corey Pingator of Skillet, Singer Taco of Putting on the Ritz fame. Guitarist Big Jim Martin of Faith No More. Reggae artist Damian Marley. Blues artist Floyd Jones. Jazz artist Billy Taylor. Singer and keyboardist Henry Priestman of The Christians. Singer Terry Caldwell of East 17. Jazz guitarist Pierre Cullas. And jazz pianist Sonny Clark. Artists who unfortunately passed away on July 21st include composer Placidos von Kammerlohar, who passed away in 1782 at the age of 63. The man whose poem, the New Year's Eve song, Auld Lang Syne, is based on, the national poet of Scotland, Mr. Robert Burns, passed away in 1796 at the age of 37. Composer Franco Fascio passed away in 1891 at the age of 51. Composer Johann Selmer passed away in 1910 at the age of 66. Composer Donald Tweedy passed away in 1948 at the age of 58. The founder of America's oldest Bach Festiva 
pianist Albert Ryman Schneider passed away in 1950 at the age of 71. Trombonist Snub Mosley passed away in 1981 at the age of 75. Guitarist Michael Osborne of the group Axe passed away in a car accident in 1984 at the age of 34. Gospel music singer Norridge Mayhems passed away in 1988 at the age of 84. Pianist Richard T. passed away from cancer in 1993 at the age of 49. Singer Dorothy Collins passed away in 1994 at the age of 67. Saxophonist Russell House passed away in 1995 at the age of 65. Composer Stanolo Rajasic passed away in 2000 at the age of 79. Record producer Gus Dudgeons passed away in a car accident in 2002 at the age of 59. Film composer Jerry Goldsmith passed away in 2004 at the age of 75. Blues musician Long John Baldry passed away in 2005 at the age of 64. Herbie Kalin of the Kalin Twins passed away in 2006 at the age of 72. DJ K. Swift passed away in 2008 at the age of 29. Broadway singer and actor and also co-founder of the Newport Folk Festival, Theodore Bickell passed away in 2015 at the age of 91. The conductor and composer with the Chicago Sinfonietta from 1987 to 2011, and also the Czech National Symphony from 1996 to 2007, Paul Freeman passed away in 2015 at the age of 79. Composer Ben Johnston passed away in 2019 at the age of 93. Jazz singer and actress Annie Ross passed away in 2020 at the age of 89. Singer Vince Hill passed away in 2023 at the age of 89. And legendary Grammy Award winning singer Tony Bennett, whose life we talk about on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which is already dropped on this particular network, wherever you get your podcast from, as I said before, passed away in 2023 at the age of 96. Next time on the Music History Today podcast, it is July 22nd when, in 1963, the Beach Boys released two classic summertime songs. Thank you very, very much for listening if you're listening on the podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube or Spotify video. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share this podcast. And if you like this podcast and you want more of our podcasts, then I invite you to check out our Music Halls of Fame podcast in either audio or video form. It drops every single Thursday. You can listen to the audio version of this podcast on Apple, Anchor, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, wherever you get your podcast from, all under Music History Today. You can also watch the video version of this podcast on either YouTube or Spotify Video, also under Music History Today. Our Facebook page is Music History Today. Our website is jamaritaniamedia.com. And our Twitter is twitter.com backslash Music History Day. Thank you very, very much for listening or watching.